Kings are finished. We are joined by uh, Harika Dornavali. Congratulations for winning your game. Thank you. And uh, since all the games are finished and uh, uh, we are here, so let us just, uh, without further ado, have an overview of the game. So to we'll move to the board and try to see uh, how the game uh, went. And check it out. Uh, maybe in the meantime, I can ask you uh, um, if you actually thought during all parts of the game that you have winning chances. Uh, no, at some point I got double bishop and I thought I had chances, but uh, in the ending, uh, when I, I mean, I thought it's a fortress and it's a draw. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I couldn't believe like this f5 and like she opened the position so I just got chance or else I think it's just a fortress and it should be equal. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, let's have a quick uh, look at the game. So we'll jump to some critical moments, e4, c5, play this g3 move and mm -hmm. then in the opening, first of all, um, here after d3, is the move queen d8 uh, uh, considered to be a known move here, or is it was it played before? Yeah, generally here uh, they play queen d8, bishop e7, and uh, but I don't remember what exactly I should mm -hmm. do. But uh, I mean, uh, after a point, uh, this has become like kind of king's Indian position for me, mm -hmm. with lot of tempos. Mm -hmm. I mean, from my my way, like so, this bishop e3, knight d2, knight c4, which is very normal from black side when you play king's Indian. So. I mean, even if she doesn't play queen d8, I think I have queen uh, bishop e3 at some point. And then turning knight d4 yeah. and uh, forcing uh, the queen to move. Yeah. So bishop e3, e5. If you're not e5, I'll get uh, d4 and it's easier for me to play that position. Yeah. And now after e5. Knight d2. Knight d2, knight d4. Knight c4, queen c7. Here I was thinking a lot to play maybe something like rook e1. Mm -hmm. um, idea of castling, knight into e5 and uh, uh, bishop into d4 maybe. And winning a pawn or at least being more active. Yeah, something like this. Mm -hmm. uh, but then uh, I wasn't very happy with uh, bishop e6 I think. Bishop e6 and now it blocks the file so there are no more tactics. Yeah and uh, black will finish their development so f4 f4 is more logical yes just uh, being uh, acting quickly before yeah. black is in time yeah. and now ef bishop f4 and queen d back to d8 seems like it's forced more or less and now a4 um, yeah? maybe i can even do something like uh, here a4 in the uh, now uh-huh and if castles then a5, a5 with the same idea as in and the now game. f4 and because in the game she got uh, a4, a5 mm -hmm. and I couldn't do much. So maybe I can still wait. I'm not sure. but Yeah, and if a5 now, is there a difference? I don't know. Maybe or maybe not. Um, either way, f4 is possible. Yeah, and yeah. it's the same idea. But yeah, a4 so is a very nice idea. We missed it. Uh, we thought uh, that we'll c3 or queen somewhere will be played and rook a1 but then suddenly a4 we are surprised it took us some time to realize that this plan is so strong yeah i mean this is exactly like how we play from black side in king's Indian, so it's, it's not so difficult mm -hmm. but i didn't expect that a5 could be like pretty strong defense yes and then after a5 i couldn't find anything else other than c3 and bishop e3 to try to get d4 but the addition of these two moves seems to be favoring uh, white uh, at least from uh, the queen side structure point of view and uh, yeah because my knight is on c4 yeah so c3 bishop e3 and now d4 and let's jump right to the next critical moment after you got the isolated pawn um, rook c1 is a nice move, waiting uh, for black, and of course the addition of these two moves should favor white. And now after, uh, in this position, king h1 was played, and our question uh, was whether uh, white has a chance to improve the position further, bringing more pieces to the game, um, before playing king h1. Because it seemed as, as if black got some time to, to put the knight on d5, or later on e8. Uh, yeah, so. maybe, but my problem is if I play d5, she's having knight c5, mm -hmm. uh, and kind of, I thought maybe it's kind of uh, not so easy to break this, I'm not sure, so. Uh, 
maybe or maybe not so i just uh, tried to see what she, uh, what's her plan and i played i thought king h1 will be useful at some point and mm-hmm. actually it did yeah yeah later. for sure <laughs> with knight b6 later uh, was knight e5 considered no i didn't check this at all yeah um uh, we thought that if knight e5 okay it's just a waiting move it's not there's no real threat but mm-hmm. if knight c5 now queen f3 and for example f6 knight d3 no they even have rook f6 right? yeah and then maybe move the queen say here and just keep everything uh, under control for the moment and this bishop is still open for the moment but it's hard to evaluate yeah yeah i mean even knight e5 why should she play knight c7 after knight e5 here uh, uh go back or maybe i can play rook d6 after knight e5 yeah and um well black wants the same thing Is no now area? d4 is hanging yeah maybe some sacrifice and just putting pressure on f7 it's a very complicated position but yeah. it just seems as if main black's main plan is knight c7 knight d5 and and it might be a little bit more annoying for black if uh it's prevented by uh pieces and then like it's hard we we uh, couldn't find a, uh, a plan for black okay and um uh, it doesn't mean much but yeah i mean i actually didn't expect knight c7 to be so strong because i was thinking yeah, always yeah, knight yeah. c7 d5 and that knight on uh, uh, c7 is uh, not i mean not good this i mean so i completely missed it yeah and uh, yeah this knight e8 move is very powerful uh, it's very hard to break to understand it, yeah. how di- how difficult it is to break now knight b6 was a very nice uh, idea knight d6 and then let's jump straight to the end game where uh, the position was of course very interesting but we don't Yeah but I think here oh. I have chances when yeah. uh, she played rook c8 mm. uh in the end huh. I in mean like uh, here somewhere um rook c8 uh yeah a little bit more ah uh, here so oh yeah so uh-huh. I think here yeah. definitely it should be better for me but uh, I tried to go into ending uh, because I missed something I missed that I cannot play bishop b6 completely uh, that's the reason I went into this but maybe I have something else I'm not sure yeah the end game seems uh, like why should it be better if she takes so queen c3 was a very nice move by mm-hmm. by her now takes bishop c5 and now she suddenly has the same kind of fortress yeah and it was very hard to to even try to break yeah but i mean i assumed that it's a draw and i was just playing some moves but uh, it's very surprising for me that uh, uh, she opened with yeah. f5 and in this position if black just plays back and forth it's really hard to it's impossible i mean it's just yeah. a fortress uh, yeah. it's just a draw and uh, do you think it, it, it was done because of uh, being so tired after so many rounds i think she hours? just tried to um, make it faster ah. by uh, like finishing it quickly she thought like f5 knight e4 and it should be fine but with bishops it's always dangerous yeah, well, to open you have to be careful with bishops and, but also uh, i mean it's not so together. easy when you have to play under pressure for so long yeah so somewhere uh, you lose like i lost many games like yeah, this so this is uh, probably psychological mistake rather than an objective one yeah even here uh, she can still play uh, king f7 king f7 and uh, yeah it's it's of course not easy to break but there are chances the bishops have some yeah, air to definitely, breathe definitely yeah there is a chance yes and especially in time pressure yeah so now you finally finally saw some chances king e2 seems very strong and now suddenly the king is coming and you want this pawn and this is already looking like a winning position i think position. it's it's one, i mean already winning yes and by the way i have just one last question uh regarding the position so let's say for example Of course this is winning for white. Yeah. But uh just from vague memory of the past there is some like line in which the pawns uh can be where they are winning and so, like behind this line it's winning above this line it could be a draw and like have, have you ever heard of this uh kind of uh, end games or do you just calculate and see whether this specific case is winning or or not? I think I just calculate and it's winning so I mean king c5 king b5 is coming. Mm-hmm. Whenever you take, I mean, like, uh, I think I'll just—it's just King B6 will come on time. So, uh, when did you realize that this position is winning? No, uh, already, uh, like uh, already here I felt that it's winning. So from this moment, you already calculated that you are in time to yeah. kind of go for. Wow, that's that's impressive, and actually, many players they memorize this kind of 
uh, rules of thumb with the line and above the line, below the line. But at this moment, I've seen the Dvoretsky book like three or four times already. I still can't remember anything. I mean, even I can't remember, so I just calculated. Yeah. And it's easier for me to be on better side because I already gave up thinking that it's a fortress. But mm -hmm. when I got chance, it's just pleasant to play that position, even yeah. if it's win or draw. And how, so I was just enjoying. How did you feel when you realized you were winning here? I mean, it was pretty shocking because at some point I gave up. Uh, that it's a draw mm -hmm. so yeah well you gave up like but you still played so you didn't really give up like i mean yeah i, c I kept playing because okay it's pleasant two bishops why not to just uh, keep playing mm. so you gave up from your side but yeah. you said okay sh her yeah. side is out of my control just yeah. let her yeah i just i was just okay. playing my moves oh so patience uh, is actually uh, yeah. a good quality to have especially in chess so uh very nice uh, lesson for all of us and uh, this is just winning I think. yeah so once again congratulations for uh, well not uh, the cleanest but definitely a good game uh, in retrospect and uh, well good luck in the in the following rounds thank you